Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I'll be sharing with you guys how to start POP cement business in Nigeria. On this channel, we talk about business and making the money. If you are somebody that loves business and making the money, please subscribe and please don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you to my returning subscriber. You guys rock. So today guys, I'll be sharing with you guys how to start POP cement business in Nigeria and make good money for yourself. But before you start up this business, there are some steps that you need to follow, which is very, very important. Step number one, you need to make your basic research before you start up this business. This is not the kind of business that you just wake up in the money and just start up this business. Without making your basic research, it will be very, very dangerous. So it is very, very necessary that you make your basic research before you start up this business. You need to know the inner out of this particular business before you start up this business. All you need to do, you talk to the engineers, you talk to the builders about this POP business before you start up this business so that you can be able to know the inner out of this particular business before you start up this business. You need to know the demand of POP cement in your area before you start up this business. It is very, very necessary. And you need to know the strength and weakness of your competitors before you start up this business. That's why basic research is very, very important before you start up this business. Don't just wake up one morning and start up this business without making your basic research. You will make a lot of mistakes. So basic research is very, very important. Talk to these engineers, talk to these manufacturer companies, and talk to these builders. They'll be able to guide you on this particular business. And also talk to these people that have been into this business for a long time. They'll be able to guide you on this particular business so that you will not make any mistake. It is necessary that you make your basic research before you start up this particular business business step number two business plan this step is also very important in this particular business you need to draw a business plan a business plan will cover all the things that you need to do in that particular business so business plan is very very essential your business plan will cover your target market your business plan will cover the amount of capital that you need to start up this business your business plan will cover everything about this particular business your business plan is like a guide so your business plan matters a lot if you don't know how to draw a business plan you can employ the services of an expert to draw a business plan for you don't start up this business without a business plan a business plan matters a lot when you want to start this kind of business so you need to take note of this get a business plan before you start up this particular business step number three in location location matters a lot if you really want to succeed in any business you need to take your location as your priority because if you choose a very bad location it will be very very disastrous your business will not move whether that business is profitable or not that business will not move so your location matters a lot so a very good example of a good location for this particular business is a major road a major road with a good population that is a very good example of a good location for this particular business not just a major a major road with a good population. There are some major roads that does not have a good population. So you need to choose a major road that has a good population for this particular business. And you need to choose a place that is very, very secure. And your location needs to be very, very accessible for people. It is very, very necessary. Another thing again that you need to consider again before you choose your location avoid opening your store close to your competitors. It is very, very dangerous. You are new into this business. If you really want to make it in this business, you need to avoid doing this so that you can be able to gain massively from this particular business. If you open your business close to your competitors, they will asnat you. So it is very, very dangerous for you to open your business close to your competitors. Take this advice from me and thank me later. Step number four, registration. Now that you have gotten your location already, the next stage is for you to register your business name, which is also very necessary. You need to register your business name with CAC. So once you are done doing this, the next stage is for you to get the necessary license from your local government, which is very, very important. Because if you don't get this license, they will not allow you to function well in this particular business. So it is important that you get the necessary license before you start up this particular business. This particular business is a very lucrative business. If you handle this business, when well, you are going to make massive profit from this particular business. This POP cement is in high demand. And you know that any particular business in high demand, that particular business is a very profitable business. So if you start up this business, you are going to make massive profit from this particular business business step number five we have to source for this pop cement it is very important that you know where to source for this pop cement this is an important aspect in this particular business it is very very easy to source for your pop cement all you need to do you go to your web browser and search for suppliers search for supplier you'll be able to see a lot of supplier likes of dangote they supply pop cement so you can buy from dangote cement or you can buy from any other supplier of your choice 
Another way again that you can also get supplier, go to those people that have been into this business before. Interact with them, tell them that you want to start up this particular business. They'll be able to guide you on what to do. They'll be able to direct you to the right supplier that you can be able to buy from. That's why I say market research is very, very important. With market research, you'll be able to know this. So market research is very, very important. With this, you can be able to get suppliers. If you really want to excel in this particular business, you also need to sell other building material like the MISA, like bucket, a pan, etc. So that whenever anybody comes to patronize you, so that the person can be able to get all the necessary equipment in one place. It is very, very necessary if you really want to excel in this particular business so that the person will not buy from you. Then the person will go to another store to buy the other equipment. It is very, very wrong. Make sure that you have all the equipment necessary in your shop so that the person can patronize you fully. The next step is advertisement. Advertisement is very, very important. If you really want to excel in any business nowadays, you need to learn how to advertise. Advertisement matters a lot. You need to go and learn how to snap very well. You need to learn how to video very well so that you can be posting them on your social media platform. You can be posting them on Facebook. You can be posting them on TikTok. You can also be posting them on Twitter, over on Instagram. So by doing that, you'll be able to attract more customers. And Facebook Marketplace matters a lot. You can be posting them regularly on Facebook Marketplace. You'll be able to get a lot of customers from this Facebook Marketplace. So advertisement matters a lot if you really want to they say, gone are those days that we just sit in our shop, then we wait for customer to come. You need to reach out to your customer. And the only way for you to reach out to your customer is through advertisement. So you need to learn how to advertise aggressively. You know that you have competitors in this business. The only way to outsmart them is by advertising aggressively. You can also print flyer. Then you share to people around you, your community. Tell them that you are into this POP cement business, that you can be able to distribute to them. By doing that, you'll be able to attract more customers. You can also go to new building. You can also go to developing area. Then go there, tell these people that if you see any new building, then you approach them, tell them that you can be able to supply them POP cement with discount. By doing that, you'll be able to attract more customers. This is how to do this particular business. Don't just sit in one place and wait for customers. You need to source for your customer. And the ways to source for your customer is through advertisement. So you need to advertise aggressively. You advertise on your social media platform. Then you also advertise physically. Go and meet your potential customer. By doing that, you'll be able to attract more customers. You'll be able to gain more customers from this particular business. You'll be able to earn massively from this particular business. This particular business is a very profitable business, but it all depends on your approach. If you approach this business in a wrong way, you are not going to make a lot of money from this particular business. You don't need to sit in one place. Approach your customer. Go and meet your customer. There is the only way for you to get more customer and through advertisement. Another thing again that you need to do before you start up this business, check your environment, check whether they have building material association. Then if they have building material association, most of the places they have building material association, then you join the association before you start up this particular business. Because if you don't join this association, they will not allow you to function well. If you really want to function well in this business, then you join this association. So guys, this is how you can be able to start up this POP cement business in Nigeria. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all guys. Bye.